Here is one thing I know for sure. Everything inside of Disney World is more expensive than it is outside of Disney World, which is why I rely on such organized packing skills before we go into the parks so I can bring what I need because you can always buy whatever you need there, but it is going to cost you extra. And I want to buy what I want to buy, not what I have to buy and feel like I'm wasting money. Does that make sense? So today I wanted to share with you what my Amazon must-haves are before we go on a Disney trip that I'm either using to prepare for that trip or bringing with me. All of these will also be linked in the description down below. And I'm also going to be inserting clips on how we recently use these items in Disney World so that you'll get to see them all in action. So the first one's probably the priciest, but it's also the one that we've gotten the most use out of, and that item is the Apple AirTag. Now, we have four of these. One is currently in the boat trailer, so I have access to three of them, but I wanted to show you what these looked like. We put numbers on the outside of yours. You can customize these with emojis or with letters etc. But we like the simplicity of being able to track the numbers one, two, three, and four. And these are made by Apple, but you can actually get them on Amazon. Now, here's how we use these. When we travel, we put these in any of the bags that are being checked. So that way, if these are within a certain radius of any Wi-Fi, specifically cell phones, then they ping off of whatever Wi-Fi signal that they're on, and we can get a legitimate exact location as to where our bags are. So when we're flying, we can see that these are either on the plane or they're not, that would be problematic. And we also use them in Callie's backpack at school. Yes, we're fully tracking her. We just wanna make sure that she's safe. So we just pop one into her backpack. Basically, wherever you think you might lose something or you need to keep track of it, you could put these on your keys as well. These are incredibly helpful for so much more than just Disney trips. I would say that these are like Mark's number one must-haves. They've become almost like a game for him and Callie. They'll hide them around the house and then use the phone, almost like they're geocaching, if you know what that is. So we absolutely love these. And here's kind of like a 1A number two with the Apple AirTag. You need cute AirTag holders. Yes, you can just shove them inside the bag so that they stay in the bag and you just have to like hunt for them when you go get your things. Look at these. These are Disney AirTag holders. They are so cute. The idea is that they securely loop to your bag, your luggage, your backpack, whatever, your keys even, whatever it might be. And they protect this little guy from like dirt, scratches, dust, etc., so that these will last longer. I'm really surprised that I like all of these options. I hope you can see them. I think this little purple guy is my favorite, but we're gonna be using these for the first time on this upcoming trip. I will make sure to insert a clip and show you what they look like. that when I'm in Disney, I want to carry the least amount of things possible. So I do usually bring a bag with me for things like my sunglasses, my hand sanitizer, um, poncho carrying, whatever it may be, lip gloss, those types of things. But I don't want to bring my chunky wallet or even a small wallet with me because I do wear my magic band while we're in the park. But I wanna bring my license. I probably want to bring my vaccine card and I probably want a backup debit card just in case. I found on Amazon this really cute little wallet that attaches to your phone and it actually does three things. There is a grip right here, this middle part, which also then because of this little nubby turns it into a stand, which I think is awesome. And then you can put your little cards right in here. So I absolutely love this. I'm going to attach this on the back of my phone case, my Disney phone case. This is my Kate Spade one with Minnie Mouse. I'm gonna put this right here for the trip. Absolutely love this. And then I won't have to carry so much in my actual little bags. They won't be as heavy. 
Before we move on to the next items, I just wanted to show you where to find these two types of products. I know when I'm searching on Amazon, if I don't have an exact link from a description box or for somebody's bio, I often have a hard time like finding the exact product because Amazon just has so much. So I'm gonna put my screencast of how I found both this wallet and the AirTags here now. So you can see here, I'm just on the Amazon homepage. I'm going to be typing in Disney phone wallets as my search term. And then the first one that pops up, this is the one that I just showed you. So this is $11.99. It can be brought down to $10.99. And there are three different colorways for this one. This is the Mickey and Friends white. There is the Mickey faces. They are black and white with some red details. I really love the little kissy faces on the Mickey Mouses. And then I went with the red option, the mini faces, because it matches my phone case. But I also wanted to show you the iJoy storefront. This link is in the description box, but if you're looking for something that has to do with pretty much anything electronic, iJoy is gonna have you covered. Look at this, you guys. The Disney Mickey Mouse Photo Studio Creator. Look at this ring light, I die. I also love their mini edition of this ring light, but they have a lot of awesome products. So I wanted to show you here that you can also find, let's see, Disney AirTag, what I'm searching. And then again, these come up right away. These are the AirTag holders that I have. They're $19.99, but with a coupon, you can save $4. This is the one. This is the one that I want, the Disney iJoy Minnie Mouse Clip-On Selfie Ring Light. I just love this. I hope this tutorial was helpful. I will make sure to leave all of these links in the description for you. Even though Callie is six, we are still renting a stroller. Now that's not because we're going to stroll her from attraction to attraction, but when we're doing longer walks, we want her to be able to pop in, rest, have a snack without complaining. The whole point is to do whatever makes Disney easiest, right? I have for sure judged parents, right? I'm in the park and I'm like, your kid is eight. Why are they in a stroller? Hi, it's me now. My kid will be 12 and I'll still be like, hey, we're renting a stroller. So it's not the stroller that we're interested in from Amazon, but we found something really cool. Actually, a couple of things that are like accessories that we can bring with us to help the stroller be more impactful. And one of those is a carabiner clip, a really big one. This clip has multiple purposes. One, it can hold her water bottle, which we're getting to in just a second, but two, it can also hold bags. You know those beautiful big Disney Park shopping bags that you get on your leisurely strolls through the stores? It holds those. We do have an area underneath on the stroller, but that's where we are going to be placing like our jean jackets, perhaps extra bags or backpacks. So that's like a bigger space. We want to maximize this stroller space. So the carabiner kind of takes charge of that. These are really inexpensive. We used one of these on Callie's stroller when she was little to hold things. So we just kind of transferred that from her little kid stroller to her Disney stroller. The other stroller accessory that I'm excited about, we haven't had this one before, is this. So what this does, this is like a stroller kickstand or a stroller stand. This attaches to the stroller this way. And then your child can stand on the back of the stroller and like look at you and talk to you while you're pushing it instead of being all the way inside. So one of the biggest complaints we have about the stroller is that we can't talk to Callie when she's in there because she's facing forward, looking ahead, and we're just kind of talking over that umbrella. This will allow her to interact with us more without needing to do as much walking. So I think this is a really cool thing. It's relatively inexpensive. And if you have a stroller at home, this will transition to that. This will probably be a one-time use thing for us, but I think it's worth it just for the trip. If you don't have a misting water bottle and you're going to Disney in hotter months, this is a necessity. They're like $11 on Amazon and more like 30 in the park. We did buy Cali one when we were in Disneyland when it was really hot and she used it a ton. She would squirt water into her mouth. She would squirt it onto her body. She would mist her face. It just kept her cool, kind of like a neck towel, but it has dual purpose. 
For this trip, because we are going in February, we're just bringing an extra stainless steel water bottle with us that we made sure has a loop so it can connect onto the carabiner. The other thing is that we're not bringing her Yeti one because we're afraid that she's going to lose it. We did manage to bring the Yeti one all the way out to Hawaii and back, but now it's the one she uses every day for school because it matches her little Disney princess backpack. So we purchased a new one for way less money on Amazon. It's supposed to keep things cold for 24 hours. I will let you know if that's the case. It's very cute. It's themed to the parks. It's just a backup water bottle that we'll definitely use throughout the summer months as well. So it's not like it's just for Disney. But in this case, we bought one that was, you know, on theme, on trend. And I think there were something like 40 patterns. So I'll make sure we link that one down below. And I ordered it, so it'll be here tomorrow. Uh, but I'll also make sure to show you clips of what it looks like in the parks. So the kickboard actually ties up here, right onto here, which is awesome. So that way when you're walking and she is not on it, you don't accidentally kick it while you're walking. And we have both featured here, the big carabiners, as well as Callie's adorable water bottle, which has come in so handy, does keep things cold for 24 hours. So really happy with all three of these Amazon purchases. The next one may seem a little silly, but I think it's on the more practical side. We like to bring extra batteries with us to Disney because inevitably, Callie's gonna want a bubble wand or a light up wand, and she's gonna run that puppy 24 hours a day. Do you have the same type of children? I swear, that little song from the Ariel bubble wand just lives in my brain rent free and will for the rest of my life because we listen to it for 24 hours a day for like 12 days between Disneyland and Hawaii. So if your child is going to want a toy that requires batteries, sometimes Disney doesn't include them. It is not worth it to pay an extra double, right? Double the battery price for not even name brand batteries that are going to die in two days. So we bring some with us and we also bring with us glow sticks. This is a fun thing that we do either in the tub at night. So if she's coming back to the room and we're just getting ready for bed, I'll turn the lights off, crack a few glow sticks and throw them in the tub for her to kind of make it more of like a disco party. Or if your child is lucky enough to stay up late for one of the firework shows, you can bring them with you and not have to pay for like the Disney street cart type of toys. <laughs> So this is a money saver. It's really easy to do. It's very inexpensive and it still adds a bit of magic to their trip. No matter the time of year that you're going to Disney, you will always need some staple items. Ponchos, my friend, a poncho is one of them. Now you can buy that like white clear Disney poncho. They're much thicker, they button, they have real buttons, but no, no, it's just a poncho. These puppies, I think, are around a dollar each on Amazon. You can get family packs in different colors. You can get different sizes. And, special trick, a large adult poncho doubles as a waterproof stroller cover. So, I know that Disney always tells you, make sure you get the waterproof stroller cover because it does rain and you don't want your stroller to just get soaked while it's waiting for you to come pick it up at an attraction. So we just bring extra big ponchos and put those over the stroller. You're welcome, you're welcome. This is probably going to sound a bit odd. Pill cases, pill cases. So we do not use these for actual pills. We use these for snacks. If you've been around for a really long time, you know that maybe this is the most brilliant idea I, I think that I have ever had as a parent. So, and we did this going to Disneyland and Hawaii as well. So what you do is you fill each of these little compartments with a finger size snack, and then you take the amount of hours that you're on the plane and kind of figure out how many increments do you have here divided by seven. To Florida, I think it's like 30 minutes, maybe less, that we open a new, a new thing. And then whenever we open a new one, we switch activities. So if we've been on the iPad for a half an hour, great. Now we're gonna do some sketch art, or now we're gonna play Crazy Eights. So 
obviously feel free to have your kiddo on that iPad the whole time. That's probably what Kelly will want to do, but to kind of get her brain moving so that she's not just resting the whole time and then won't go to bed on time, you know, we're going to try to switch up the activities. But this, I call this in my own brain, trademarking it right now, the snackle box, because it's kind of like a mini tackle box, but for snacks. Okay, so I go back and forth. Is this a legitimate business idea or is this just me being like, yes, girl, you did this. Can you tell me in the comments below? Would love to know your thoughts. This one might be too much information. You let me know. This is my mega babe thigh rescue. Because despite my weight loss journey, I still don't want to chafe. And I don't wanna have to wear shorts underneath all of my skirts and dresses, which is totally a thing you can do also. But this is like, it's very lemony scenting actually. This is just like a deodorant, not for smell purposes, but for friction purposes that goes in your thighs. And it is small enough that you can just pop this in your bag. Because also remember, now you're not carrying a wallet. You too can bring some body glide with you. You could even put this on the back of your heels where you might get blisters. I haven't tried that, but I might. I love this little guy really saves me some pain. If you are looking for, this is not a deodorant. It's not gonna prevent anything stinky from happening on your body. But if you are looking to prevent chafing, I would recommend this or a body glide. They make one for men and one for women. Honestly, it's thigh skin. I don't think it's that different. So I'm not sure that I would go for the gendered one, but this is the brand that I like. And my last Amazon recommendation, at least for this video, because I know it's starting to get long, is reusable straws and possibly your own cutlery, specifically if you're going during an Epcot festival. One thing we have all started doing in my family, we are bringing our own reusable straws because Disney has switched over to the cardboard straw, which I personally don't really mind, but my husband hates them because they basically, once they get wet, they disintegrate. So we're bringing our own silicone straws so that way we don't have to deal with that. And then in past months during our festival visits, we've also purchased and brought our own cutlery and chopsticks uh, wrapped in their own little baggies. So that way we don't have to use their own, the plasticky kind. So all of these items are going to be linked in the description box below. So you don't have the issue of needing to go onto Amazon and plug in a keyword. You can simply just find them easily in this description box. And I hope this has been helpful. I know that I have been that person who gets to Disney, forgets something, and then has spent so much money either going to a store to try to find it, needing to rent a car or get an Uber. Mark and I have definitely done that or needing to purchase it in the parks, which is gonna cost you on average two or three times like the average amount of whatever that item is worth. So you can make yourself like a little Amazon cart or storefront where you save these items so every time you go, you can just reorder. How easy is that? I love you. I hope you're having an amazing week. Make sure you are subscribed for all of our future amazing Disney content and we will see you very soon. Bye everybody.